you deserve better. E.T., what you talking about? Listen to me. Listen to me very carefully. You deserve. You deserve to see what your life would look like if you gave 120%. Are you hearing what I'm telling you, baby? Listen to me very closely, right? You got to get this. You deserve, right? You, you, you've been living 70%, 80%. We've been talking about it. And, and you're looking at the results, the outcome, right? You reap what you sow. You're looking at the outcome of somebody giving 70%. Like every, everything, everything you have, everything you are, everything you're doing, like it's, it's 78. And what I need you to do is I need you to look at yourself in the mirror and say, come on, quit, stop playing. I deserve to see what my life would look like if I gave 120%. Now, I told a story years ago on YouTube, years ago, Dr. Maybank. Michigan State University, I'll never forget. She told this story, man, and it blew my mind, right, right, right? She took me back to kindergarten, like, and you gotta get this in your spirit. She, sister girl, took me back to kindergarten, the hokey pokey, right? And so she telling the story of the hokey pokey that's blowing my mind, right? And I'm telling it to you today because that's how important the story was. That's how salient it was. Like, it was impactful, it moved me, right? And she said, in, in kindergarten, Right, you learn in kindergarten that that you put your left foot out, you put your left foot in. Right, you you put again, you put your left foot out, you put your left foot in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey, she said, and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about, right? And so she started breaking the song down, and she said, first you start, you put that left out, right, and then you go to the next level and you put that right out, right. Then she said, you put that left arm out, right, right. You know the song. Then you go with that right arm, right, and then she said, but 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 at the end, right. When, 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 when it culminates, right? She said that the teacher tells you to put your whole self in. Mm. Ah, you got it, you got it. She said put your whole self in, right? Put your whole self out, right? And shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. And listen to me very closely. I'm telling you from personal experience, I know what my life was like when I put in 55. I know what it was like when I didn't try. I know what my life was like when I didn't care. I know what my life was like when I didn't have any dreams or any goals. Like, like I didn't want anything. I know what my life was like. Now I'm putting in 120, baby. I'm putting in 120. Look at it. I'm putting in 120 and my life is sweet. My wife's life, my kid's life, my mama's life. Listen to me, my father, I'm, on a, I'm, I'm in a Detroit free press and my parents, my parents are proud. Are you hearing me? When you put in 120, not only does it affect your life, it affects your family's life. It affects your friend's life. It affects your community's life. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? So I need you to do me a huge favor. Yep, this one is different. This one is the call of action, all right? I'm gonna put you on a 21-day challenge. I'm challenging you. If you, listen to me, if you ain't brave enough to challenge yourself, if you ain't courageous enough to challenge yourself, I'm challenging you. I'm challenging you to get from where you are. I'm challenging you to stop settling. I'm challenging you, I'm challenging you. I'm challenging you to stop accepting the life that was given to you, and I'm challenging you for 21 days. I'm challenging you to give 120%. Are you hearing me? I'm challenging you now. And I want somebody at the end of this 21 day, I need somebody to send me a video. I need somebody to send me a video and just show me, ET, you are 100% right. Like I put in 120% for 21 days. I did not fatigue. I did not give up. I did not give in, E. I did exactly what you told me to do, E. And look, boom, things changed. Like my marriage changed. My classroom changed. My, uh, as a basketball player, my team change as a coach the way my team responds it changed et 120 percent i want you to stop giving 70 stop giving 80 stop giving 90 and you deserve to see what would happen if you gave 120 percent all right all right so a couple things i need you to do on this 21 day challenge right the first thing i need you to do for me is i need you to have a vision I need you to have a vision of when you get to that 21 days, what do you want? What do you want to happen after that 21 days? What, what is dying in your life? Look, right now, what does is, what is mediocrity look like in your life? Look, what does defeat look like in your life? What, 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 what are limitations? What are boundaries look like in your life? In 21 days, this won't look like it. My marriage won't look like this. My grades won't look like this. Are you hearing me? We're going to be better as a team. Our outcomes are going 21 days. I challenge you 21 days to first cast a vision. What will your life look like after those 21 days? Listen to me. Do me a huge favor. 21 days. Do it right or don't do it. Yep, you heard what I said. For the next 21 days, do it right or don't do it. Stop half doing stuff. Stop putting forth 50% effort. 60%. Look, stop. Do it right or just don't do it at all. Are you hearing me? Do it right. When I start doing it right, 
that second book, Greatness is Upon You, look through it. I did it right. I wasn't just writing a book. I did it right. If you kinetic learner, listen to me very closely. If you got to touch stuff, I put it in there. I, I went with the whole thing, guys. All right, I just didn't go half doing it. Look through the book, the artwork is in there. The, 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 the work stuff is in there. So you can work it through, everything is in there. I didn't half do it, I did it right. Look at our videos. We don't half do them, they free. But we don't half do them. Do it, number two, do it right or don't do it at all. Number three, listen to me, no 21 days. No excuses, only adjustments. No excuses, I don't wanna hear it. I don't want to hear good excuses, good reasons, what happened, why you couldn't do it. I don't want to hear it. I don't want, everybody got an excuse. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear anything about this happening. The weather wasn't right. And my get the finances and this didn't come through when it was supposed to. Well, that person didn't. No, 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 no. Number three, three things, guys. Number one, cast a vision, 21 days. So when you get tired, you can keep looking at that vision. Do it right or do not do it at all. Are you hearing me? And finally, guys, no excuses. Just adjustments. Your dream will not become a reality until you shift from not important to somewhat important to very important to an emergency. And you don't have forever to do it. And I had to forgive my father. You know what happened? It was so crazy. When I forgave my father, it had nothing to do with my father. It had everything to do with learning to forgive. Shh. And I was speaking one thing and I was living something else. I was traveling across the country telling people about, you know, forgiveness and I wasn't doing it. Life is going. You got to do me a favor. When you get hit, I'll never forget. First time I got, I got my boy, they stole my, my green machine. My mom bought me a green machine. And these two boys on the block, they stole my green machine. I was pissed. They I bust me off, bleeding. I can't, oh, man, they stole my green machine, ma. And you know what my mom told me? Don't come in this house until you go get that big. I paid a lot of money for that big wheel, son. I don't care what you have to do. Like, for real, I'm bleeding. I'm looking for the hole. That wasn't my real. I'm looking like, I love me. You know what I'm saying? Hold me. Help me. You know? Mom's like, go back out there and get that boy. You know how much that thing costs? Mom said, listen to me. I love you, but do me a huge favor. Don't come back to this house. Not that big wheel. I remember thinking, man, these boys, one of them huge. I remember walking down the street and I saw a bottle. We're not going to talk about this, not the venue to talk about what type of bottle it was. But I picked the bottle up, boom, hit it against the concrete. And I said, I can't come home without my bike. I went and told my man, I my bike. He said, you can't have it back. I said, well, you don't understand. My mom made a bike. Let me back in the house. So somebody going to get cut. Like real, I can't beat both of y'all, and I know I can't, but somebody, I don't know which one of y'all want to be brave and get cut, but one of y'all getting cut. Now, y'all want to commune with one another, talk about who going to get cut. Y'all can do that. I'm all right with that, but I'm not coming home without the green machine. When I came home with my green machine, and I rode that thing like I never, I was so proud when I would see him. I'm looking like, cut, if you think it. <laughs> Are you hearing me? Some of you have been knocked out by life, and you got up and saw the blood, and you, uh, he hit me. Sometimes in life, you have to hit back. It's not always going to be easy. They're not going to give it to you. They're not going to give you success. They're not going to put it on the platter. But if you're willing to work for it, if you're willing to put the sweat, the blood, the tears, if you're willing to earn it, they don't give away Bentleys. They're never on sale. If you want one, you can buy it if you're willing to pay for it. So Batman, I love it. The Dark Knight Rises. Batman comes to Bane because he's Batman. He like, I'm Batman. Surrender or else. Bane like, <laughs> So Batman's doing his thing, blah, blah. He's swinging, blah, blah, blah. You fight like a young man. Boom, Bane grabs my man's fist as Batman comes. He says, your victory has defeated you. Some of you, your success has messed you up. You so successful now, you saw it. Your success has not benefited you. You've not grown as a result of being successful. You've lost your bike. You're not hungry anymore. Your success is damaging you. And so Bang gets, Batman gets up. He was like, I didn't know which was going to go first, your body or your wheel. <laughs> but you're pretty strong. I'm still going to break you. Blah, blah, boom. Batman gets up one last time. You know, the whole cape boy, the boots. <laughs> like, ah, Batman, <laughs> Pull out his look, choo, 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 choo. Start hitting all the lights, blah, blah, blah. Batman, you know, you're Batman. You can fight in the dark. So he choo, 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 choo. 
Bang. <laughs> he said, Batman, like you cutting the lights off? He said, sure, may I remind you, you adopted the dark. Meaning that you practice in the dark. Batman, I was born in the dark. Shaped by the dark. Molded by the dark. I grew up in the dark. Batman, I will break you. And I want you to hear what I'm telling you. Some of you are soft, but you were born in the dark and now you're soft. Every time you come up to a challenge, you quit, you surrender, you give up, you give in. Every single thing I go through, I remember I was homeless and I draw from it. Every single time I'm going through pain, I remember that I've gone through pain since I was a kid. I draw from it. Recycle your pain. Get something from it. You're already in pain. Use it. Do something with it. Allow it to take you to the next level. Allow your pain to push you to greatness. I challenge you. I challenge you. I challenge you to be the best you could be. I challenge you to leave this room on a, on a, on a, on a height, a, 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 an awareness that you've never had before. I challenge you to behave in ways you've never behaved. I challenge you to pick up traits that you've never picked up before and do everything you could possibly do before you leave this place and impact as many people as you can. So don't be average. Don't be good. Don't be great. Be phenomenal. 